So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the another great day of our beauty this week of day 189. And if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that you can learn, maintain and grow our streak together. So today's question name is find number. Given an integer and you need to find the nth smallest number which only contains the odd digits that is 1, 3, 5 and 7 and subsequently 11, 13, 15 and so on with 31 and likewise with 51, 53 and 55 and 57 and so on, right? For n equals to 3 in this sequence, you can see the third number is 5 and that's what they have returned. For n equals to 13, you can see then the 13th number is 35 and then that's what they have returned, right? So what would be our first naive approach? Our naive approach would be like, ki, let us let us iterate for each and every number starting from 1 to later. Ke, uh, like even uh, like just keep on iterating it until and unless we get a number which is which contains only odd digits. Right, and it should be the nth nth number, right? So, हम इसके लिए क्या कर सकते हैं यार कि we can write uh, we can write a code for each number to check that if each and every digit uh, in that number is only odd. So, if we check for one, you can clearly see that it's odd, right? Similarly, we will check for two and will not increment our counter and we will keep on moving forward. So, it's three. So, we will increment our counter. So, first it was one count, count one, then count two. Then we will check for 4, we will have some helper function which will specify that it is not a number which has only odd digits. Then we will go for 5 and we will keep on incrementing the counter. So for 3 we will return this integer and similarly likewise we will return the n equals to 13th part, right? So how, how can we check that if a particular number has only odd digits or not? So let's say we have a number, let's say uh, 1, uh, 147, right? 147. So we can clearly access the last number by n percent 10, right? This will give you a 7. Now we will check that if, if 7 is divisible by 2, then it's not. And if it is not, it's divisible by 2, then it's an even. If not, then divisible by, uh, you got it, right? So we will check, we will, ha we will have an if condition and then reduce by number by number by 10, right? And now the number will be, at this point of time, it would be converted into 14. Now we'll again check by using this, this, this will keep on repeating in a while loop what n is greater than or equals to 0, right? Similarly for 14, what will happen? The last digit will come out using the percent 10, right? And the 4 will be checked and similarly and so on, right? So here a function will break, we're saying that it is a, a what to say. An even number, so return false. So this entire number is not a number which has only odd digits. So please pause this video and try to code that approach. Okay, so this, this would be our first approach that we have a count, right? And whenever we are in, we are starting from natural number number equals to one, and we are going forward until unless we find our nth number which has only all odd digits. So we have a helper function here, all odd. The same thing I explained to you. We we access the last number by using n percent n, right? Hmm. So we have a helper function. We found the last digit by using n percent n, and we check if it is even. Then we at that point of time, we return it as false, else we keep on checking for every last digit, right? Last, second, last, and third last. Okay. So we have a counter here, which is less than equal, which is less than n, then we keep on checking it. If, if, if found that we have a number which is contains all our digits, then count plus plus. Else, in each and every test case, we have to do num plus, because we, keep, we have to keep on checking each and every number as we have draw the number line here, right? Okay. So, yes. Then whenever we have our count has reached the nth smallest number, we'll return the number minus one. Why minus one? Because we are always incrementing plus plus, right? So at the point of time when we reach our answer, then again plus one would be added to that, and we don't want that. So if on submitting the this particular code, you will get an TLE because you are using a approach which is taking n log n time complexity, and the constraint here, as you can see, is 10 power 12. So definitely, if you write 10 power 12 into uh, what I'm saying is if <clears throat> that if you do it like this n log n is our approach right so if you do 10 power 12 log of 10 power 12 and base 10 then what you will get 10 power 12 into 12 right which is definitely greater than 10 power 8 and that's why we are getting the clearly on our error approach so what's the optimized approach then please pause this video again and think of the optimized approach right so let us write so as the question was saying the first numbers were Second, let us write down the initial numbers that was 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Then, and how come it repeats? Then it repeats as 1, 13, 15, 17, and 19. 
then it repeats as 30, 31, 33, 35, 37, and 9, 39, right? If you keep on, if you if you visualize, then it will repeat. It was 1, uh, 1, 1, 3, then it will go as 5, then it will go as 7, and then 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 will be repeated for each and every sequence, right? So how many elements are there in the first uh, pattern? You can say there's the five elements, right? So let us name it as this is my first number, this is my second number, third number, fourth number, and fifth number, right? We need to find uh, the nth smallest in regard of this pattern only, right? So what can I do is we have to use the concept of circular array here, right? Uh, circular array is nothing but we keep on dividing it by percent five, right? Like uh, percent five, or let's say the uh, length of your array, right? So let us dry run for let's say this is dry run for the test case 17, right? So if we if I divide it by 17 percent 5, what what you will get? You will get 2, right? And what's the second smallest number here is 3, right? So if you have let's say a and b, then how you can represent it in terms of 10? This this can be represented as 10 power 0 plus b, and the whole number can be remit. Uh, the, this number has the uh, uh, weightage of 10 power 1, so it will be as 10 power 1 into a plus b right so since you are forming a last number so it would be represented as 10 power 0 plus the uh, plus the second number you will make an array of this number of this pattern just second number is 3 10 power 0 plus 3 will give you as 3 right okay now let it let us divide it by 5 and you will get it as 17 divided by 5 will give you the value as 3 i guess then you again have to do 3 percent 5 the circular array thing and then you have to, what you have to take now the second this is the second last digit, right so 10 power 1 plus into the what is the third element 3 percent 5 will give you as 3 so the third element is again 5 so it is 5 plus your last digit which was 3 so now if you can get you will see that you have element as 53 and you can verify it while, while running on your uh, input test case and you can see it you will give it as 53 let us run for some more test cases Let's let's do it for 19. So 19 percent 5 will give you as 4. And what is the fourth element? It is 7. And this is representing nothing but 10 power 0 uh, star 7. Okay. 10 power 0 uh, plus 7. Right. And similarly here 10 power 0, 10 power 1 plus 5. Uh, wait a second. Hmm. Uh, like this. Here's the multiplication, right? Take it. So 10 power 0 plus 7 will give you as 7. Now again you have to divide it by 5. So 19 divided by 5 will give you what? 3. Right? And what is the uh, nth smallest element at 3? You will have an array for this. It is 5, right? So what is what is represent? 5. So that means 10 power 1 star 5 is the last digit. That is 57. You can verify it again and you will see that it will be the 57, right? Now there was there will be a case when you will have to handle something, and that case is this one. Whether it is completely divisible by so 12 percent 5 will give you what zero right so and among which of these elements which of these indexes is giving you percent 5 as zero this one 5 percent 5 will give you as zero so that means we have to pick this element now that is the nine so that means we will pick the ninth element right and then you will do 20 by 5 will you, which will give you as four and if you pick the fourth element that will give you as 7 right then your answer will become as 79 but that is wrong if you verify it it is not 79 it is 59 is the correct answer right so how we can do is so that means it is getting 59 because it is accessing the third in, third third index let's say right so what it will do is that if a number is completely divisible by 5 let's say right let me write it for you if a number is divisible by 5 then what you need to consider is then you have to take n by 5 minus 1 right this is complete an intuition complete uh, uh what to say a trial method when you are good in number theory then it will eventually come around you have to look like this right okay so, so it gives us 5 but uh, we verified that answer is coming like this so that means we have to do minus 1 that is 4 minus 3 and the third third number is 5 right so that now here it will be 59 right i hope you're getting the point that is verified for one last case that is let's say 10 so first we will do 10 percent 5 which is 0 then again for 0 you have you have to write a case that if it is 0 coming then you have to take the <coughs> the n as the uh, 9 
right so we will consider the 9 here and then we will do 10 by 5 which gives you sq it since it is completely divisible i am writing cd it is completely divisible then you have to decrement it by 1 that is you have to take the first index and now <clears throat> the number the smallest number at 1 is nothing but what is it <clears throat> let me check it is 1 right so again it would be 1 1 and 9 will be your answer you can verify it all these test cases by your custom input right i have already verified it so that's why i'm not wasting the time there right so please pause this video now i have explained you everything why how the intuition goes on so only thing you have to write the code now and and uh, one more thing that <clears throat> you please try please try to write the code now and then i will show you uh, how i have written the code so i hope you were able to write the code if not let us write this together so let me show you the pseudo code first so i will make uh what i will make that i have to make a uh, array first of all right so before this while loop i'll make an array which have the integers value as one three five seven and nine right don't mind my handwriting it's getting a bit messy but i hope you are able to get the logic right so instead of multiplying it again by 10 power 0 and 10 power 1 we will just append it now so we will have an empty string right and then for while and get then equals to 0 what are we doing that we are first doing n percent 5 so we will store it in a variable let's say current right and what what we were checking that if current is equals equals to 0 right then we have to access the last index okay? so that and the last index is nothing it's present at four right let me change the color and show you this is zero one two three and four so what i will write here is that current is equal to zero then s equals to a of four plus s right i don't know yes and if it is not zero then you just have to take the index minus one so how can i access it then s equals to a of since this n is long right since this current i have stored in long variable so what i will do i will typecast it I will write int current minus one plus s right <clears throat> why i'm writing plus s because whenever first first we we got nine right and now we want to append in front of that nine right so that is why i'm writing the number first and then we are uh, incrementing with plus right now please handle the second test case try to pause this video and try to handle this case that of n equals to n by five right because since it, if it's completely divisible if it is completely divisible then what we were doing let me let me write it i'm not writing the code if it's completely divisible then what you have to return that n by 5 minus 1 now if it is not completely divisible i'll say ncd then you just have to return n by 5 please pause this video and try to code it yourself okay let us get back to the coding section and show and let me show you the code okay so that's the code here i've explained you till here that how the things are going on so if it is completely divisible that means if completely divisible that means the modulo operator will give you zero right and it should be greater than zero because we have already handled the case if it is zero then what we have to do right that is 20 by 5 will give you 4 and it is completely divisible so that case will be getting handled at 9 over 43 and then you have to take the n by 5 minus 1 we already have done multiple dry run that how this minus 1 is coming why this minus 1 is coming and else you just have to divide it by 5 and at last this will hold your answer this string s and then you just return that uh, since we have to return in the long so string can be converted into a long variable by long dot parse and similarly if you have converted in tj it was in tj dot parse int right so that is it what would be the time complexity for this code would be that what are we doing that for n n greater than equals to zero we are always incrementing we are always decrementing by n by five right so that means the time complexity will be log n with the base five and if you solve it, if you solve it log 10 power 12 base 5, it will give you somewhere around some 17.1 something, right? I have already done this. You can also use a calculator and do this, right? And which is definitely less than 10 power 8, much, much, much less than 10 power 8. And our code and our logic is right. So this code will definitely get submitted, right? Let us verify that as well. First, let us compile and then we will submit the solution. Okay, the compilation has been successful. Our put and expect output matches. Let us hit the submit button now. So, so great, all the test cases have been passed successfully and you can see I've also, all, I've also wasted my two submission to solve this question. But that's not the case, we were able to understand and solve this question very perfectly. So, uh, even if, if you have a doubt that how Maya, you were able to guess this solution, so I'll recommend that be good in number theory, mathematical number theory, and you will eventually, uh, by using those theories and trial method, you can be able to do this, right? Okay, till then, 
Mm, so I request someone please to convert this code into C++ and mention down in the description so that other C++ users can also can get help. It's a very simple code. You can do the conversion, right? So till then, keep learning, keep growing. Goodbye and take care. We'll meet again tomorrow in day 190.